This is CBS 46 News at 11. Getting results. Tonight, a DeKalb County family left in disbelief. A prank shooting call sends DeKalb County police swarming around their home. And tonight we're learning the prankster was watching the whole thing from the family's own security camera. All of this unfolding in Decatur. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy live tonight speaking exclusively with that family. Jamie. Yeah, Rick, this is certainly one of the more creepy and disturbing stories I've done. So the family is just so thankful that they still have their lives after police swarmed their house. Then the person who called the hoax watched them through their camera and even spoke to them as well. Video shows the moment a family is caught off guard as DeKalb County Police surround their house. I didn't know what was going on, scared to make any sudden moves. Confusion and disbelief set in as police continue to verify the family's address. They stated why they were there, you know, that kind of made it worse because then I'm like, well, is there maybe the, the wrong address and somebody is hurt somewhere else. Christina says around 10 officers surrounded her house because they had received a person shot called at her address. What they didn't know is that the person who made the call was watching their every move. Yo, I'm raking the camera. Look in the camera, yes. The ring doorbell camera had been hacked and the family had been swatted. The fact that somebody would be childish enough to do something that could have taken somebody else's life. Crying wolf and sending police to a person's home is known as swatting. In 2017, an unarmed Kansas man was shot and killed by police due to swatting. During the cab incident, the creepy hacker racially abuses the family and boasts of his efforts. And change all your shit. Stop using the same password for everything you need. That's sick. Uh, we That's are sick. Yeah, we are discussing you. This is the 15th one today. We do this all over the United States. The family shudders to think how far this sicko will go. There's no telling if somebody else lost their life by this guy. Um, and I mean, it's kind of gross, honestly. So DeKalb County Police weren't able to get back to me in time to tell me how frequently it happens here. APD told me that it isn't a problem for them. Now the FBI said nationally there isn't a database to see how frequently it happens around the country and also say it's really hard to track down these people. But as far as the person involved in the Kansas hoax, well that person was caught and is now behind bars for the next 20 years. Live in DeKalb County, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.